Jeez, there's a mortar barrage and a smoke going up. Oh, and we can still get long shots because guess what? Piercing vision is OP. Whoa, wait a minute. We're on Vanguard? Uh, it's been no secret. I've uh, kind of stayed away from Vanguard for a little bit. The zombies kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, I was a little optimistic at first, hoping it would get changed. Doesn't look like anything's really happening soon besides, you know, a few lights on some uh, some zombies and in the main area. But it still kind of turned me away from the game as a whole, even though the multiplayer in this is actually pretty good. But today, we're back on the multiplayer and we're going to be getting some guns gold. And yes, I said guns. So I already got the NZ41 gold here. I'll show you the footage of that here in a second. But I've been basically chasing the Warzone meta. The second the Warzone Pacific map came out, it's, you know, relit uh, my desire to play some Warzone. Uh, it's actually been a lot of fun. I have a few videos on that if you want to check it out. But I'm like, hey, I need some camos. I need some camos to use in this game. And, you know, I need to level these weapons up. So might as well get gold while I'm doing it. Uh, when I first got in, I wanted to use the NZ. The NZ seemed really good. Started using that. And people were like, oh, use the automaton or the automation or whatever it's called. I'm like, okay, I'll use that. And then that gets nerfed. So I'm like, all right, let's move on to a different weapon. Let's do the bar. And then the bar gets nerfed. Every time I try to get a gun leveled up, it gets nerfed. So we have the NZ gold here. And today we are working on the automaton or the automation. And really quick to show you my camo progress here on the automation or automaton. I still don't know what it's called but i have everything done besides death artist here and this is arguably going to be our hardest camo because we have to get about 80 long shots here out of 100 with the specific barrel drum mag and stock which is going to be uh pretty difficult i think but first let's toss a camo on here what looks nice i think this is one of my go-to's so i'll throw that on and this is the class we're going to be using besides the barrel mag and stock uh i picked everything else out myself i don't know if recoil booster is probably going to be the best for long shots but i'm going to have it on there a uh, bipod because we're probably going to be crouching or laying down to get these long shots we have the length and ammo typed to increase our range uh the two and a half times optic here to help me remember to go for long shots because i do tend to forget uh we have the grooved grip here which increases our aim walking movement speed and accuracy fully loaded so i don't have to be looking around for ammo and tight grip <laughs> which gives me more accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. I, I have a mind of a five-year-old. But this is my class overall. I have the Panzerfaust here. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of camos for this, but some recently did just get changed with the long shot kills. I don't know if these are actually still tracking or not, but we have it on here just in case. And the three score streaks in a game 30 times, I have none of. But I, I have the 100 eliminations with it. That's something. Launchers are so difficult in this game but well, we got ghost piercing vision and lightweight i like using piercing vision because if i just shoot in the general direction of somebody it basically just shows me where they're at uh lightweight i don't know why i have lightweight actually increases movement speed that's why i don't know i i still haven't found like a nice perk build in this game but throwing knife per usual in the stem and i'm gonna go ahead and switch to the deployable cover here because if i find a spot that is good for long shots i'm gonna want to stay there and then mounting up will give me better accuracy but there's a few modes here we have krampus armageddon shipmas and big map blitz i think i'm gonna start with krampus and then see what kind of maps it throws at me it sucks that doesn't really give me a description of the game mode before i hop in but we're gonna try to hop into these and see which one's best definitely not ship miss <laughs> as much as i want to play ship miss because of how greatly it's themed for christmas not good for long shots so let's just try out krampus all right here we go i know this map at least has some long shot angles here i'm gonna try to go immediately up to the tower normally i would be going for these in hardcore what's up old buddy sleep said sleep now he's gone oh, i'm being hunted what i just started it's my first day out here is that a long shot not looking like it it looked pretty far away to me no i got i got a little distracted by that elf there but what i was saying is normally i'd go be going for these long shots in hardcore but they don't have uh this krampus mode in hardcore and it's pretty hard to find any lobbies that aren't shipment or DOS house any of like the main playlist in hardcore because they just they don't really update that playlist too much like they, they always forget about hardcore players so we'll try to fight through it in core it doesn't seem like this is working too bad in core though like this gun's pretty nice oh shit oh you suck you're waiting for me too and still gonna get it Ooh, actually this gun's kind of nice i don't play core a whole lot because i'm mainly just grinding camos but it looks like it's working fine here we get this guy that's a long shot just 80 more to go. It'll be a long day. That's so crazy that that's the planes now. Oh, I wonder if you could shoot those down. Oh, maybe it's easier to shoot those down. We gotta try that. That's a long shot. Both my long shots have been in the same exact spot. That's another one. Okay, we found a good spot here. Santa's coming by. I can hear him. There he is. 
Nope. Oh, and I just destroyed my deployable cover. I, I it's kind of cool that launchers have that little like back blast feature. Where like whatever you shoot behind you will also get affected because of uh just everything coming out of the launcher. But it, it's kind of annoying. I just destroyed my deployable shield doing that. And then in hardcore you kill so many teammates trying to take anything out. There we go. Can I place this up here? No way. That's not okay. I should have placed it a little more to the right then. But at least I know I can put it up here. There we go. Long shots are definitely the most grueling challenge. Because every single map that's good for grinding camos is a small map. You're never, never going to have a good camo grinding map that has like a lot of long shot angles. It's always going to be that one angle and it's going to be down the middle like on DOS house. But DOS house currently isn't in the rotation for like main grinding modes. So it's a little more difficult. You know what? I'm just going to keep going back to the roof. I don't care. I'll be that guy. I need long shots and I need them now. That's the way I'm going to get them. Okay, maybe not. I definitely put that cover in the wrong spot. But we still know people are over here. Like this guy. There we go. And I feel like the visibility is kind of hard to, you know, it's hard to see things in this game. The piercing vision actually helps out so much. You got to shoot in their direction. You see their outline. Pretty easy kill. Oh, please don't kill me. I'm not an easy kill. Oh, yeah, I am. And after one game, we made decent progress, actually. We got, what, eight long shots? If we can keep that up, we'll be done in about a year. All right, looks like we're playing on Cthulhu or Gavalulu or whatever the hell. I really just read at a fifth grade level. But this should be good for long shots if I can get set up over here. Oh, come on. Close, but no cigar. I'm gonna go set up in this window then. Get out of there. Please, somebody peek down here. There we go. Oh, he's still peeking. We got him. There we go. That's a long shot. That's another one. Piercing vision so good. Underrated perk. Maybe I'll try doing it from here. What? There we go. That's another one. We're at 30 now. Oh, yup. This is the spot. I swear if somebody takes my deployable cover, I'm just putting out a different one and getting them off of it. Oh, pal, you want to use mine? Sight. It's like they're coordinating when somebody's going to peek. Stop doing that. Stop thinking while playing COD. Oh, there we go. Still got it through the smoke. Just follow the tracers. Oh, keep feeding me these long shots. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, let's go. Oh, we're just eating out here. And we ranked up. Look at us go. We're at 40 now. Please keep peeking. Uh-oh. Enemy pop inbound. Hold on, I gotta give it the good old one-two. Hey, chase me. Come here. Oh, I knifed it. Oops. I thought meleeing with this would uh, hit it. I forget that when you have a throwing knife, it uses that for your melee. Oh, well. We're still getting our long shots, though. Jeez, there's a mortar barrage and a smoke going up. Oh, and we can still get long shots because guess what? Piercing vision is OP. It's actually not OP. Please don't nerf it. Please do not nerf it. There's no other way I'm getting long shots. I promise God it's not OP. Sledgehammer, if you're watching, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, we did not do bad that game. We almost made it to 50. We started at 18. We're going, we're flying through these now. I'm gonna start throwing on these camos as we make our way through. Honestly, these like water dipped camos look so much better than these like brush stroke ones. Now let's see if we can get any long shots here on Berlin. I don't know any long shot spots for this map. Maybe up here. That does not look like a long shot. Oh, maybe out here with my fellow long shot enthusiasts. And yeah, my game crashed, I think. Let's go. Yep. Application doesn't unexpectedly stop working. No, nah, it's pretty expected at this point. Fuck. <laughs> That's whatever. I want to play on Berlin anyways. Find me a better map. Okay. We're getting castle instead. Probably the best looking map in this game. And I'm pretty sure long shots are right here. And I'm gone. And I'm gone again. All right, I'm wasting my time on this map. I'm leaving. All right, we've made it to Red Star. It looks uh, just as depressing without zombies. And we can get some long shots here. Let's go. Nope. I had to ruin our fun. I'm going right back up there, though. There we go. We're at 50 long shots. We're halfway there. Ooh, 51. Oh, they're just feeding me. 
until they kill me. But I'm fine with it. If they get a few kills, they're more obligated to come back. Like, hey, I got a free long shot up there. Let's go try to kill him again. Psych. I'll get about like three for every one that they get. Okay, it looks like they're not really peeking anymore. We were eating early. And now they're starving us. Let's try to find a different angle. Maybe we can try from the bottom floor here. Try to get people across the way. That works. Oh my god, that works. That works so well. Ooh, the lag. We're fighting through it though. Teammate, please get the hell out of my way. Oh yeah. We found a new long shot spot, baby. They are just feeding me. I, every time I say they're feeding me, I die immediately. But we got a guard dog out of it. Let's go, pup. Oh, let's go. It's so nice when you find spots to get these camos done. You just start flying through them. It's beautiful. We're already at 60. And then when they finally realize that this area is not working for them, we go back up top. Easy rinse and repeat. Game's over, but 29 eliminations, 12 deaths. And I'm pretty sure most of those were long shots. So I'm happy about it. Oh, we got the most multi-kills. Shout out. Ooh, five votes, two six votes. Check me out. One MVP. Not bad. Let's check our match summary. How many long shots did we get that game? Medals. There's no long shot medals in this. But let's check our camo to see. And we moved up twice. We're now onto the weird looking brush stroke one. We're at 60 now. 66 to be exact. We're moving up. All right, we're back on Red Star, but it looks like we have the unfortunate spawn. Is anyone doing our strat? Not looking like it. Let's try to go upstairs. Maybe we can get some shots from that side. If not, we might have to solo try to flip the spawns in big map blitz while we're going against like 24 people. That should be interesting. They're already doing a good job of not wanting me to peek. Yep. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to flip the spawns. It's going to be a, a big mission for one man. We might be able to get it done. Oh, actually, if they're going to feed us long shots over here. Maybe we don't have to. Nah, we for sure have to. Get them out of here. Oh, there's more. Oh, no. They got a guard dog. Oh, shit. It's actually impossible to try to get over there. Our best chance is getting over to the right. We got people camping on the other side of the bus. We got people right over here on the other side of these barrels. This is tough. Hold on. They got this guy and that guy. No. That should have been it. This is tough. Okay, let's try to cross the street, take over this building. There we go, that's double. Oh, what? That should have been three. But this gun is insanely stable for the amount of recoil it should have. I think we actually accidentally made a pretty decent build for this. Because even at range, it doesn't seem like the damage falls off too hard. Okay, let's get a peek on these guys. I mean, shot from behind. Oh, this has not been a good game for long shots. You definitely want the other spawn. Ooh, hit marker. Take him out. What? Double hit marker. Oh, and they have a flame knot. Perfect. Yeah, this spawn is definitely not where you want to be. Let's try maybe fighting over here. Maybe this is better. You have such a height and like angle advantage on the other side. It's ridiculous. Such a one-sided map. I don't even know where I'm getting sniped from. Let's watch the kill cam. He's like... That's a tight angle. He's like over by a tank somewhere. I don't even know where that is. Okay. Glad that game's over. That was our worst one yet. How many did we get that game? Four. Okay. That's a huge difference on what spawn you have. All right. We're back on Cthulhu. This was a really good map for us last time. There we go. Already one fourth of long shots of last game. I just need this deployable cover bad. Oh, wait. No, we don't. No, we don't. That's an easy triple. And we get the cover out of it. I'm putting it right here. I mean, right here. I'm gonna call in the UAV, mount on it, and get blown up. Let's go. We already have way more long shots than last game. This is the map. Let's do this. There we go. We got one out of the window, two out of the window, three out of the window, maybe even four. Let's go. Another camo down. Honestly, the way it's going back and forth like this, I, I said it earlier, but this has always been my philosophy. If you're going for long shots or like mounted kills, like back in Modern Warfare, if you see somebody else doing it, just let them get a few because then they'll keep coming back. And then you guys just trade back and forth. You guys are both getting camos and, it's, and then it goes swimmingly. It's a win-win situation. Except for when this guy tries to take your deployable cover from you. Oh no, glide bomb. Okay, it didn't come for me. Usually it comes for the spot. Honestly, these 75 round mags, good call by that camo challenge. I am literally just spraying. Oh, we're at 90. We're 10 away. We could get at this game. As long as we just keep it up. You just got to pick really, really fast on which guy you're going to be shooting at. Because there's a few here that have these angles. 
There's two in the windows. There's one on the right side rock, one on the left side rock. Some people could be laying down. You just got to pick which one first, and then you can kind of just snowball that into other kills. Oh, okay. We got two there and got taken out, but we can get this. There's still so much time left in this game. Oh, let's go. That dude keeps laying down there. I don't know why. He always gets taken out. Maybe he thinks he's safe there, or maybe I'm the only one that sees him. Let's go. That's another one and another. This is the game. This glide bomb's killing us. Goodbye. Oh, I actually saw the, the whole model for the glide bomb. I wonder if I could have shot it there. It don't matter. I'll let him get a few. He's happy and he keeps coming back. I'm happy. That's got to be it. We're so close. Literally like one or two away. Right here. This is gold. Maybe that one was it. Nope. Within the next two kills here, within the next 30 seconds, we're getting gold. Check this out. Mount down. Keep peeking. Never mind. There goes my dome. Jeez. Now this is it right here. Right now. And I'm gone. I'm, I, I swear if I get the camo curse here and I'm like one long shot away, I'm gonna be pissed. We're gonna break the camo curse today. There we go. Is that it? Long shot. No challenge done. Okay. I mean, we're getting closer and closer every time. That's another one. Was that one it? It was! Let's go! Complete all camo challenges for this weapon. Blood spatter. Show me gold. Let's go! Man, actually the automation, the automaton, whatever it is, whatever this build is, is not bad for long shots. Look at this. Okay, look away. Why am I saying look at this? There's been plenty, plenty of evidence here that this thing's kind of accurate at range. Oh, let's shoot the glide bomb. Never mind. It completely missed. Like, I hit the tower, idiot. We went 35 and 22. Not bad. Most kills in the game. A lot of deaths, but all worth it in the end if we walked away with gold. Most multi kills. Easy. And we got six votes, seven votes. Make it eight. Nope, we'll take seven. Eight, there's eight. There's nine, actually. Let's go. That's not bad. I've been recording for an hour and five minutes. Right about now, it's about to hit five. Let's go. So it took me an hour and five minutes to basically get 80 long shots. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at this gun with the gold camo on it first. Here's blank, just so you know. And then gold. Gold in this game is actually really, really nice. And I was just informed through LEGO's video that they changed how it looks in Warzone, which is disappointing because this black laminate was white in Warzone. And now they kind of turned it back to black laminate. Don't know why, but they should uh, revert that. But gold, very good. Diamond here. Eh, it's all right. I mean, it looks more like eczema or like goosebumps than it does diamonds. But I mean, take what you will. Oh, we forgot to preview it. Look at the big old nuts on this thing. It's its sack is just hanging. And then let's look at Atomic here. Atomic is so beautiful. I can't wait to unlock this. I, it's kind of Warzone and actually playing Big Map Blitz today has like revived my uh, the, the spark to play this game. And I will get Atomic. I will. Even if the camo challenges are bugged right now, we're still going to work on them. But let's go check out what this gun looks like in game. All right, here we are on the map Paradise. In case you're wondering, this map has extremely good lighting, but here is our NZ that we got gold earlier. Here's our little inspect in quotes for it. Us just reloading. Looks pretty nice. But our automation that we just got done, let's check it out. Ooh. Of course, this is with no attachments on it. But thing looks amazing nonetheless. It's the gold in this game is actually really, really good. They did a great job with it. I I would like to see that white come back in Warzone and maybe even add to Vanguard. Why not? But it looks pretty good here. Let's give it a quick spin. Put it up against the light. Look how it reflects. Very, very nice, dude. I, I'm I'm loving these camos. I'm, I'm loving that we're back to multiplayer too. It'll be a lot of fun. But there you have it. We got not one, but two weapons gold today. So if you guys want to see us play some more multiplayer, please let me know. Maybe even leave some weapon suggestions for Warzone because I'm mainly leveling these and getting these up so I can use them in Warzone and flex the camos there. But you know, if you guys got any other weapons here that you think are pretty nice, let me know. But with that being said, I'm gonna have to end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.